Sprints. So you can start with a nice, light, easy jog, and then as you go, kind of build up the speed with your kid, have a little bit of fun, and then you start sprinting really fast, moving your feet as fast as possible, and then super sprints, and then have a good time with that as well. Make sure you make a contest out of it so they can have fun too. All right, and then for this one, it's planks. So you're gonna go down, elbows down on the ground, legs off the ground, just to feet, squeeze your body nice and tight and then just hold it. Make it a contest. You're gonna go for at least 30 seconds. So try to do each drill for about 30 seconds. And then if you wanna go for a little bit longer, you can try and hold it for a little longer as well. Okay, hopefully these warm-ups are really good for you. You can have some fun with these. All right, now for your stretches, we're gonna do it a little bit differently than we do in class. You're gonna have a seat. You're gonna sit in the splits, just like this, legs straight, toes pointed up. You're gonna do three sets of each. So the first one is leaning nice and straight forward. Do three sets of that. Then to the right leg, you grab your foot. You can reach it. Try and put your head or chest to your knee. Then the left. Then you're gonna bring your legs together. Legs straight, toes pointed up, and reach straight down, grabbing your toes. Trying to put your head to the floor. Three sets of that. Then the last one is butterfly stretch. You put your feet together, pull them all the way in, nice and tight, trying to press your knees to the ground for three sets as well. Each set is 10 seconds long. Okay, have fun doing these stretches and feel great. All right, and for the junior, Sifu Josh will be doing this one. It's combo 5A, combo number six. From there, hip throw to side control, transition to the mount, ground and pound, and then he's going to do an arm bar, okay? One time fast, and here we go. Combo six, aim into the hip throw. Side control, gets to the mount, ground and pound, and immediately to the arm bar and taps. Good. So let's break this down. So Sifu Josh has his hands up, elbows in, chin down. He's going to do a V block with his left hand. Sifu Josh, Andrew is going to throw a hook. He's going to come back with a right cross. He's going to turn his body and throw a left hook. From here, he's going to throw a back leg roundhouse kick to the leg. Then he backs up and disengages. And then from here, combo number six, he's going to step in with an elbow. Left hand stays up to protect his face. Then that left hand is going to wrap around Sifu Andrew's head. He's going to get him into a nice tight clinch, and he's going to spin him around. Once he does, he holds him nice and tight. He's going to throw a knee with his right leg. And after he throws that knee, he's going to use his right forearm to push Sifu Andrew off and kick to the back of the leg. Following right after, he steps in, knocks the wrist down, controls the elbow, controls the lower back, and puts his head down, gets to the side of Sifu Andrew's body. He's gonna step straight across and turn his hips, use his legs to throw him. Once he throws him, he's gonna go down to side control, elbow in, head down, knee into the side, left leg is spread out, and from here he's gonna switch his base, left leg back, right leg forward, head stays down, he's gonna step over, Rotate into the mount, knees bent, and he's going to slide up. Knees under the armpits, so that way he can't bridge, Sifu Andrew can't bridge and get Sifu Josh off. From there, he's going to ground and pound, making him cover up. He's going to open him up kind of with a left hook. Once he does, his right hand goes down onto the chest, left hand goes around. He's going to put all his weight onto that chest. He's going to push, jump in the air, and the left leg goes around his head. Once it does, he falls on his back. Gets him into his armbar and he goes very slowly, keeping his knees tight together, heels back, and lifts the hips, slowly pull the hands down until he hears a tap. Just like that. That is the drill for our juniors. Hi, right, guys. So this is our message for the month, courage. It means being able to do something even though you're afraid. And we have a lot of things going on right now. We have the coronavirus. People are afraid because they're getting sick. Um, some people are, 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 aren't surviving this. We also have our shelter in place. It's affecting our economy. Parents can't go to work. You guys can't go to school. Um, 
people don't know how they're going to pay their bills. So it's a lot of stuff going on where people are afraid. But this is our time to step up and allow our courage to take over. Okay. Um, even though, you know, we might be afraid, um, we still have to focus on doing our absolute best um, and being there for each other and not letting our fear get the better of us. Okay. This is also a great time for us to come together and to spend more quality time together. So parents, great time for you to spend more time with your kids. It's a good time for you guys to really get to know your parents um, and spend more time with them and have fun with each other. All right. So don't let these circumstances get the better of you. Utilize your courage, guys. And I'll see you or talk to you next week.